At the beginning of 2012, China announced a new goal to slightly slow its GDP growth rate this year, lowering it to 7.5%, with more focus on quality and efficient economic growth. This not only implies that China's ongoing effort to achieve sustainable development has entered a new stage, but also that the concept of sustainable development, with economic growth, social development and environmental protection as its pillars, illustrated by the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development, is emerging as a common pursuit of the nation's 1.3 billion population. In the eyes of modern Chinese people, not only is sustainable development a goal that should be embraced globally, but it is also a concept that embodies traditional Chinese philosophy. Shaoxing in Zhejiang province is one of China's oldest water towns with a history of more than 2,000 years. Zhou Li Fu runs a textile printing and dyeing business here, and his understanding of sustainable development started from noticing the changing color of the water. The considerable environmental costs forced the municipal government of Shaoxing to raise the price of water for industrial use in 2001 and implement an even stricter licensing system, which required enterprises to enact technological reform for environmental good, prohibiting a single drop of raw sewage to spill into waterways. The government-guided reform was designed for a win-win outcome. The introduction of water recycling systems significantly reduced enterprises' costs for water use and treatment. And environmentally friendly printing and dyeing techniques not only minimized the use of various dyeing chemicals, but also remarkably reduced the presence of hazardous substances in products. As a result of investment in environmental protection, the cost of each ton of cloths dropped by 300 US dollars. Inspired by the unexpected benefits, even more enterprises enthusiastically joined in the environmentally friendly upgrades. The extensive mode of production was ended and environmental value increased, contributing to the boom of tourism and service industries. The Millennium Oat City thus embarked on a healthy track towards sustainable development. The story of Shaoxing illustrates China's commitment to the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development. After the 1992 United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, the Chinese government approved and promulgated its Agenda 21, White Paper on China's Population, Environment and Development in the 21st Century, in 1994. Two years later, China makes sustainable development a national strategy, becoming the first nation in the world to promote the pattern of economic growth with government's effort. Over the past 20 years, China has continued to explore sustainable development paths characterized by simultaneous economic, social and environmental progress, while actively addressing complex issues emerging in domestic and international spheres, as well as a series of risks unforeseen disasters and challenges. As a result, the Chinese economy has seen fast, steady growth and living standards have been remarkably improved. Breakthroughs have been made in both theory and action related to sustainable development and the concept's connotation has constantly been enriched. In 2010, China overtook the United States for the first time in the value of manufacturing output, with many of its industrial products leading the world in production and sales volume. However, China is devoting greater efforts to exploring a path, balancing its titanic manufacturing capability with sustainable development. In 2012, considerable data indicates that Chinese products have become more and more environmentally friendly and that increasing numbers of Chinese enterprises are now able to provide precise carbon emission data for their dealers. In addition to related government policies, this can also be attributed to these enterprises' initiatives to use new technology that favors environmental protection. China International Marine Containers Group Limited, or CIMC, is the world's largest tank container manufacturer. In 2009, it began a transition from extensive to intensive manufacturing. 
集装箱产业是一个高排放的产业。转变经济发展方式怎么转？我们提出了梦工厂的解决方案。With philosophies like waste is the source of all evil and improvement has no end, the Dream Factory established a more advanced system for automatic manufacturing. By realizing closed circulation of materials throughout the entire production system, not only are welding and paint fumes prevented from polluting the air, but also employee comfort and working conditions are improved. Paint accessories are reclaimed from the air, and a water recycling system ensures zero emission of industrial wastewater. Thanks to multi-level utilization of raw materials and energy resources, environmentally friendly technology is no longer a one-way investment without reward, because each step contributes to lowered production costs. Since the Dream Factory began operation, its production capacity has increased by 50%, while electricity consumption decreased by 36%, and steel utilization rate reached almost 100%. Increasing numbers of Chinese enterprises have begun promoting cascade utilization and the recycling of energy through clean, low-carbon technologies. While placing new value on ecological ethics through green technology and techniques, since the late 20th century, the Chinese government has reinforced regulation related to environmental pollution, both in depth and scale, through legislative initiatives, while constantly upgrading the national standards limiting the discharge of various pollutants. A comprehensive system for pollution prevention and control gradually formed. By 2010, China reduced sulfur dioxide emissions by 14.29% and chemical oxygen demand by 12.45% from 2005 levels. Air quality in urban areas and surface water quality had greatly improved compared to 10 years earlier. While transferring economic development modes, the Chinese government has introduced measures that require enterprises to fulfill social obligations for a green economy. From 2006 to 2010, China's energy consumption per unit of GDP was reduced by 19.1 percent, and water consumption per unit of value-added industrial output dropped by 36.7 percent, saving the energy consumption of 630 million tons of standard coal through energy conservation and energy efficiency increase, equal to a reduction of 1.46 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions. The cumulative value of the circular economy industry had exceeded 1 trillion yuan by the end of 2010, and more than 20 million people are now engaged in the sector, making it an emerging economic growth point in China. Since the 1992 United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, the Chinese government has been committed to transforming China's economic growth mode from dependence on resource consumption to an economy based on ecological resource recycling. The ultimate goal is to merge the economic system with the material recycling process of the natural ecosystem. And in fact, related exploration can be traced back to 1986. In 1986, the Chinese government launched the Experimental Sustainable Development Communities Program to explore mechanisms for coordinated development of economy, society, and environment in regions influenced by different contexts. This is the experimental zone for sustainable development in Dafeng, Jiangsu Province. The 32 square kilometers of intertidal mudflats are equipped with 174 wind turbines, which generate 410 million kilowatt hours of electric power annually, as well as 470,000 solar panels, which generate 220 million kilowatt hours of electricity each year. Such a combination of wind and solar energy captures the maximum benefits per unit area of land. The characteristics of wind power, weak in the daytime but strong at night, helps hedge solar panels, which generate less electricity at night. 
Compared to traditional energy resources, a wind-solar hybrid power station can save energy consumption of 148,000 tons of coal each year and prevent the release of 414,000 tons of carbon dioxide, 12,500 tons of sulfur dioxide and 6,200 tons of nitrogen oxide. As of 2012, China has established 131 national experimental sustainable development zones, as well as more than 180 such zones at the provincial level. With distinctive characteristics of their own, the experimental zones are accelerating sustainable development in different regions to new levels. Since 2007, while actively promoting energy conservation and emission reduction, the Chinese government has developed wind turbine generators and solar photovoltaic power stations at an unprecedented speed on an extensive scale. China ranks among world leaders in new energy investment and construction. This is a 10 million kilowatt wind power plant in Zhouquan, Gansu province. With an installed capacity of 5.5 million kilowatts, it annually generates more than 2 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. By 2020, its installed capacity is expected to reach 20 million kilowatts, close to that of the Three Gorges power plant. The bright white blades of wind turbines dotting the Gobi Desert exhibit China's determination towards sustainable development. It is estimated that China has exploitable wind power resources equaling 2.56 billion kilowatts on land 50 meters above sea level. By the end of 2010, cumulative installed capacity of China's wind power had reached 31.7 million kilowatts, 91 times the figure of 2000, generating 44.6 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. Given that an average of 350 grams of standard coal is consumed for every kilowatt hour of electricity, the installed wind turbines will save 13.92 million tons of coal each year and prevent 29.462 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions. While actively promoting the construction of green, clean energy, China is striving to explore a path that ensures effective use of natural resources, ecological environment conservation, and coordinated development between economy and environment through every stage of industrialization and urbanization. Governments at all levels have made the construction of a resource-saving and environmentally friendly society a focal point, and efforts have been devoted to the implementation of a strict mechanism for protecting arable land and water resources, water pollution prevention and control in key areas, air pollution prevention and control, industrial waste management, and reasonable development and conservation of marine resources. China is also committed to encouraging the international community to take action in carrying out international exchange and cooperation in sustainable development. And in this field, China is sure to contribute to its best abilities. In 2011, China launched efforts to reach 12 targets in its new five-year plan, which evidenced the nation's pursuit of basic principles of sustainable development, meeting citizens' contemporary needs without harming future generations' chances of satisfying their demands. Today, the concept of sustainable